So September 1st brought us on to a road trip where we traveled through Arizona, New Mexico, uh, Texas and into Oklahoma and then from Oklahoma down back into Texas. We are visiting our two youngest boys and this first area is Alamogordo and the White Sands National Park and then we got into Riodoso and we stopped at one of my very favorite um, antique shops called Lots of Stuff and this is where I usually find my sewing drawers etc. And then um, from there I didn't get much footage. So what I do have here is a picture of the items that I did get and some of the items just from part of my trip. <laughs> so So slowly but surely, this studio move is happening. Um, I've made progress. It doesn't really look like I've made a lot of progress, but I really have. Um, but I'm really taking the time to make sure it's exactly how I want it and it works for me. And I'm not just putting it someplace to have it someplace and out of my hair. So taking the slow boat on this one. So I'm going to take you around and show you kind of some of the changes since the last video. And um, so yeah, there's been some heavy lifting going on and a lot of solicited help from my brother-in-law and my husband for sure. And friends that have piped in with comments on things that have showed them and asked questions about. So. I appreciate everybody and all their stick to itness of this. I will get it done. And once this is done, I will have a studio tour. Like, you know, a proper one. All right, so let me show you. Let me flip this around. All right, still quite the mess. Yeah, well, we're gonna ignore that for now because I have moved in my rack. So um, don't mind the, my monitor TV. It's going up on the wall this evening but I've got this moved in, my um, stencils. Um, the first two are pretty much kind of how they're gonna be. There's might be some minor changes on these first two shelves, but I'm still, these are still a work in progress. Um, my monitor will go up here, right there. So, yeah. I did order more of these shelves. They are in um, as we speak. I have to go pick them up. So I've been kind of like tweaking things here. So it's coming together. Uh, this bookshelf's been moved, but my computer is now over here. So that is good. Um, yeah. And then we start the mess that hasn't really changed much, except for it's smaller. It is smaller. And I do have all these cork boards down. There's like three of them um, that, or four of them, that I am going to be emptying and taking to Goodwill. And I have a huge cork board that I'm hoping will fit on this wall. It's huge. I gotta spray paint it. I'm gonna spray paint it white um and then get everything i want on it on it and then get it hung if it actually does fit we'll see manny's over in the corner still waiting for me to unbury him and i'm thinking this is going to be my shipping zone i'm not positive about that yet but that's yeah either that or my shipping zone will be on this cart and my typewriters will be over there one or the other so, yeah, it is slowly coming together. You might have even noticed I've been kind of MIA on uh, social media and stuff like that during the month of September, and that this is why, is because this is really um, taking up a lot of my time. And we traveled a little bit there too, so yeah. But I am very hopeful that it will get done. <laughs> 
and everything will have its place. So we'll see how that goes. But really that's the majority of what I'm focusing on um, today. So, and Friday. All right, a little update. There is progress. I don't know if you can see it because there are more messes happening as I sort. The cork board will fit and it is being spray painted. I think the drawers are new since the last time I showed you an update and they are not finished. I am going to be refinishing those, but I have not yet. And this top has, my brother-in-law put this top on here, which has not been adhered yet, but it enables me to have more room on my cart, on that cart anyways. Well, I, now that I've done the little tour, I'm gonna take you guys um, with me. I am gonna go do something I hate to do and hardly ever have to do, and that is grocery shop. I hate to grocery shop. So yeah, that's what I'm headed to go do. Um, I don't usually when if we run, we make a couple runs, we have different stores that we go to. We like to always go to Costco because we live so rurally. We don't like to go shopping very often. So we try and only shop like once a month. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go to Sprouts and get the produce and bulk goods. That is what is happening today. Um, probably boring. I'm sorry. Sometimes, you know, life is boring. Um, oh yeah, I gotta lock the house. Um, anyways, let me get the house keys. Anyways, that's what's happening. So yeah, we're gonna go for a little ride. We'll see how this goes. Um, I feel like it's been a while since I've done anything with you guys except for show you the status of the studio because most of my Fridays, that is what I've been dedicated to do is to get my studio in gear. And so I'm finally able to film again. So that's good. So that's picked up a bit. So yeah, all right. Let's get going. Also, I wanted to share with you some, an update on our vintage tractor. Take a look. Yep, she's been moved. She's working. Actually, you can kind of see some of the, and the implement is right there. I will have some footage of her in action. For you soon. Oh, you know what I didn't think about is I didn't think about the fact that my grocery list is on my phone. So I won't be able to have my phone to see my grocery list and to video you. So I didn't think about that. All right. Well, it's a Friday, but I have to go into my day job on today. I don't usually work on Fridays, uh, as you probably have already figured out. Um, but today I have to go in for a special training. So I'm headed into the office, so I thought I'd take you with me. Oh, fun times. I only have to work half a day, but still.
Well, it's coming along, huge strides. I have pulled out a, a little table to do some paper sorting. Um, I'm going through stacks of stuff that I have been needing to get sorted. Now that I feel like I've got an idea of where things are going to reside, kind of on the permanent side, then I'm uh, starting to go through boxes of stuff that um, I'm unpacking and haven't seen in a long time. But first of all, I wanted to hit um, these papers. So I'm just sorting them by type handwritten, these are like invoices, these are faxes, these are labels, these are packaging elements, and whatever I'm not keeping is going into the old circular file. Um, I've started, I have not yet painted this, but I have started labeling the drawers of what's gonna be in those drawers and I have decided on keeping this up here because I'm into it a lot. And yep, I haven't decided where I'm gonna keep these vintage beauties. I have two, one from my birthday month, two full ladies home journals from 1920 that I've been hoarding. I do have some of those for sale in my shop. Not the whole magazine, but pages out of them. I'm thinking maybe they'll go up there because um, I've re kind of organized that. This is where all these papers I'm sorting is gonna go. So, and then I have stuff in these for making journals. And then I have gotten these two shelves mostly organized. I did go get a new rail um, so I got that from the container store with some additional, um, of those clear ones. The, um, these right here, the darker one, the non-see-through ones, the little bucket type, those are from Ikea for your cart, but I kept knocking them on my cart. So I found that they fit these rails beautifully. So I have some empty spaces for when I start going through little bits and stuff that I can use. And... This bag is all papers that need to go into this. So I've got to sort through that eventually as well. When June came in here, she saw my letter bucket and she went started saying her ABCs. <laughs> that was very cute. I'll have to get it on film sometime and share it with you. But anyways, it's coming along very nicely. Um, the cork board that's going there has been um, painted. I have just been needing my computer so I can't pull it down and move it out of the way um, for, for that to go up, but I have that ready. So, yeah. So basically, that's what my huge biggest focus has been. Um, today is kind of, um, going to be not a full in the studio day so I've been in here just plugging away this morning um, trying to get this paper sorted trying to take care of some things on my computer that need to be done um, lots of there's always feels like there's lots of computer work um, between editing and social media and all that thing all that jazz it's been really busy um, today's the 29th of September, so today um, graphics came out with my video, a short. Um, and this month um, that you're watching this, October, um, I would have come out with the full length version of that video as well. And that is an exciting partnership. So um, trying to try and keep that one kind of like quiet, but you know, wanting to share it, that's been hard, so. Um, that happened. Been doing a lot of starting to think about 2024 and the different series that I do on YouTube. Is there anything I want to change up? Um, and so any of your input is always greatly appreciated because you're the, my watchers and I want to put up content that you want to see. So I have had a few requests, so I have added a couple things that I'm going to do next year. 
Um, for you, those of you that are wanting something real time, I will be doing a series in real time. But anyways, thank you all so much. Uh, I really need to thank these people that are going down here. These are um, new subscribers, people who have placed orders in my Etsy store or on my web store. Um, those of you who have purchased art, um, anyone who's donated to um, the uh, donation fund for the studio or anyone who's purchased off my um, Amazon wish list. Um, thank you very much. Anyone who watches my videos, uh, a huge thank you. I can't list you here, but thank you, thank you for your support. I appreciate all the thumbs up, all the comments, and all the subscribes. Anyways, thank you all. I really appreciate you. Um, you inspire me and encourage me every day. And yeah, thank you. All right. Have a good one.